Hi everyone, this is the uh, open box and uh, setup uh, video for uh, Netgear Orbi home uh, Wi Fi system. There is a lot of Wi Fi home system available in the market, but I bought this one few months ago, uh, actually, a year ago from Costco, and I've been using it. It has a very good performance, and I'm very happy with this product. Let's open the box and see what we have inside. And uh, so when you open the box, you have two units. One blue one is your base, and that is like your main unit. And another one is your satellite, which uh, will connect on another place in the basement or second floor. Let's unwrap both uh, units, and then after we'll see what we have inside the box. So it has two AC adapters for both uh, the unit and it has one RJ45 cable so let's connect main uh, base unit with your internet and power it up and once you power it up you will see that uh, it will start blinking the light on the top of this unit which indicates that uh, your unit is about to uh, start and going to do the sync and you can put the second um, unit which is your satellite to another place wherever you want i want in my second floor so that's why i set it up here you don't need to connect any rj45 cable with this one so beginning with that thing you need to download the app for rb netgear and then after that once you download it you need to um, configure everything where this app phone app which is very good and easy to uh, manage now since you already downloaded app open it allow all the notification everything follow the steps one by one now you need to create your account that is very important it will help you to manage all your uh, uh, unit from anywhere wherever you want where you want to do it you set up your security your uh, uh, password everything and then um, you can scan you can scan the app uh, code to start the initiating that uh, uh, setting up or you can do it manually i follow the instruction on the box and start the uh, activation through the scan code so you can do both So now it will look for the Wi-Fi, the set, so basically the second unit, which is your satellite, and then it you will see it will start syncing. Now you, now you can see it detecting your satellite on uh, in in that area. So and if you are close by your satellite, you will see that your satellite uh, top uh, side uh, there is a light which will. Uh, uh, cl keep blinking which indicates that uh, it uh, in a sync mode right now so it's a little bit takes some some time 30 to 35 minutes so now it directed one unit one satellite unit found and then it's uh, you now checking for the firmware because when you bought the box normally the all the hardware is only on the factory based uh, firmware and uh, if the product has been in the market for maybe like four or five months six months or a year there's so many security patches and other stuff is available so better to get the new upware updated software so it takes some time and uh, keep your patience um, just wait for the stuff I tried to eliminate all that uh, main m uh, long stuff, but still, I think five minutes, six minute video is enough to understand the stuff. So, the product is very good. I have so many devices. My kids are using the same network, and I don't f face any kind of like degradation in my service 
uh, especially in uh, throughput so now your update is complete it's just rebooting both unit once again now you are in the app so if you in the app you will see this uh, uh, security advanced uh, security feature that's they give you for 30 30 days free trial just to that's a security feature if you want to keep it keep it if you don't want to keep it after 30 day, days it will expire by itself you have also a parent controlling sync thing in this one you can control and uh, you know um, your kids devices you if you want to put some um, you know restriction or time limit or anything you can um, use that one so let's do some speed test from the box and see so you can see it 867 mag downlink and 42 mag uplink which is very good for this small system 